Hello, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you today? Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Tell me where you're viewing the video from. It's kind of fun to do. Let's look at the overall energy that you're experiencing and love at this time, Scorpio. We have, ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay. Well, most of you who follow tarot know that that basically is a very beautiful snake dressed in flowers, camouflage, so to speak, who is after eggs, okay? I, you know, it's after something of value. They value, they covet. Somebody is being a little bit tricky here. So we're going to look at your energy coming into the reading. And yours is Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy, just all about getting the job done, enjoying life. You know, you're a legacy builder, Scorpio. And what this really says with the Virgo energy is that day to day, you're living a very abundant, happy life. You're very content. Um, but you want a relationship with your person that's very significant. You want possibly marriage or a marriage-like relationship. That's what you are looking for. The star card says that you are coming into this situation very healed, very happy, very serene. It's Aquarius energy. It's very enlightened. But the star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So you are basically a person who looks like a prize. You know, you look like you bring a lot of value to relationships. When we look at the Ten of Wands, you are giving up the burdens. Any burdens associated with love for you right now are just too much. You're going to let them go. You're in this really good spiritual place and you're very grounded. Your person's energy is a sun card. They're coming in feeling very playful, very happy. They bring this, they really feel joyful around you. They're looking at things from a higher perspective, but your person is someone who is very passionate. You may be dealing with a Leo energy. This person represents happiness to everybody that they touch, everybody that with whom they speak. But when they're around you, they feel especially happy and joyful. We also see the Knight of Swords. This person's very outspoken. They're coming in. They have something to say to you. They want to clear the air. Um, the Knight of Swords energy, my experience of it in real life, is that somebody comes in and says something shocking to you. Um, it is Gemini energy, so it is a communication. The king, or excuse me, I always call this a king. The emperor, this is a feminine emperor energy that's all about people and managing people and taking control. So there's something about the way they want to approach you that's going to reveal something that makes you very happy. We're seeing them coming in, trying to tell you a lot of what has happened, I feel, in the past that's going to help you release a burden. Now, I also feel as though, since you're in this very solid energy, I definitely, let's look and see what this Seven of Cups is about, I mean, Seven of Swords is about. Nine of Wands, okay. Willingness to do the work. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries Energy. So that's not you, that's somebody else. And we have the Four of Pentacles. What I'm getting here, Scorpio, is it looks as though you've had a relationship with this person that is in the reading. It looks like one that that was very painful for you because seven of swords you feel as though this person basically stole your heart is how i'm reading this and at the end of the day i get this queen of wands card and although it is aries and ruled by mars which so you know you're a scorpio and mars is a planet your person is trying to tell you they're coming in to reveal a secret about their dealings with other people is how I'm seeing this. And you can see that this can't, you know, when we get the emperor energy, the feminine, we see strings, you know, pulling strings. With the seven of uh, swords energy, the knight of swords, I feel as though they're coming in to clear the air is what I'm getting here. Let's see what the outcome is. 
we get seven of wands. Your person feels, both of you feel defensive. There's a lot of love that happened in this relationship. But both of you are feeling very guarded, very defensive. But you're grounded. They're happy. We also get the energy of the Magician card. So there is something that happened between the two of you. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. And I feel as though you may have lived together because Virgo is day-to-day -day life. Uh, Gemini is communication and neighborhood and, you know, people in common that you may have had. So there is a very strong attraction, love. Um, there was a, a chemistry, something about the two of you had a magical feel to it. And we, But we do get the King of Swords for outcome. And the King of Swords is looking at things from a higher perspective in which you have great clarity. So with the Knight of Swords, that becomes very interesting because something is definitely going to be said that helps you release a burden that you've been carrying, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards here for you. Let's see what we have. We have for you, this, oops. I, well, I was looking at the Seven of Swords, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, so the Thief in the Night, as I like to call the Seven of Swords, juggled two different people. You were the Empress, Scorpio, and there was another woman in the picture or, you know, another person, obviously. I Sometimes I say gender, not because I'm trying to offend anybody, but because it just shows up in the cards. It's easy to be very you know, mundane and just say what I see. But what this energy is, is that your person looks like they juggled you uh, and now, and then they held back from you. They never really told you the truth. And I think that you figured it out. So why do we have the 10 of coins here? We have the six of cups. So you have goodwill towards this person. This person appears to have left you in the cold you feel that you your life is very stable with or without them. The temperance card, you, you really would like to clear the air with this person. It looks as though reconciling whatever happened, sort of like reconciling a checkbook, would feel very good to you, Scorpio. I like that energy. It's Sagittarius energy. The star card is clarified by the Four of Cups card. So the Four of Cups card is... A love that you're in a much more pure energy now. I feel as though you've healed from the toxicity that was present in this relationship. You intuitively knew it because we see the moon there. So that's intuition. The Four of Cups looks as though your person was still communicating with somebody that they once had a relationship, or maybe even two people, because the two of you, you know, the Two of Cups is just two cups. It looks as though your person could have been communicating, texting, whatever, and to especially someone with whom they had a significant relationship. I feel as though your hopes were to have this Hierophant card. The Hierophant, you were hoping to marry this person is what I'm trying to say. So that's the energy that I have um, in that regard. We also get the Ten of Wands, releasing a burden. What's the burden? The shock, the shock of a sudden breakup. So the Tower card is Mars energy. Something happened very suddenly that ended the relationship. And I feel as though it was you, the Death card. Sure, the Tower and the Death card. A sudden breakup that just never, you know, the, there was not a strong foundation because this person was uh, being very covert, you know, not really straightforward, not very honest with you. You did have a lot of fun with them. They were a character, shall we say. Why is the Leo card here? The Hanged Man. So when they come in to you, they're really a little bit, um, I think they kind of come to you with their hat in their hand, which is in this energy of apology. You know, that they, they basically, they feel as though they hung you out to dry. They left you suspended in the air. They Yeah, Daughter of Pentacles. It does look like they were, you know, seeing somebody else, Page of Pentacles, they were talking to another, and you just felt like you were hung out to dry, so to speak. 
you know, the, the hanged man is Pisces energy, looking at things from a different perspective. So I think this person is coming in to clear the air for that reason. We get the King of Swords. So this person comes in with a very uh, insightful message. They've really looked at themselves. Um, they're not going to say anything that is mean. The King of Swords doesn't do that because that's like the energy of the engineer, uh, st uh, somebody who's very strategic, somebody who's a surgeon who just wants to remove that which does not serve you uh, in an unhealthy situation. Father of Swords, King of Swords twice. But it is an aloof energy. It's a very analytical energy. It doesn't feel warm and fuzzy, I'll tell you that. So why is the Knight of Swords here? This person has fire in their belly to tell you the truth of what happened. Why? Why do they want to tell you the truth? They still care about you. Oh, wow. They're still invested in your relationship. The Moon card actually says that they're yearning for you. And they don't really have clarity that... There's a part of them that wants you back. There's a part of you, them that wants you in the relationship again. So while they're coming in as if they have all this clarity to sort of explain themselves, it's because they are very unaware that they still have deep feelings of love and affection for you. The sun card also speaks that way. They had a happiness with you that was somewhat different than they're currently experiencing. We get the, we get the chariot card. This person is... You know, they're, they're, they want to come. It's a Honey, I'm Home card. It's a chariot card. It is the emperor who drives the chariot. But that is coming towards you very quickly. But again, this particular emperor energy has strings attached to a lot of people. So this is a person who doesn't really let go of anybody. The Daughter of Cups. So we have the Page of Cups. So they really want to come in. I feel as though they're trying to heal old wounds. I feel that that's the motivator here. You know, because we have this energy of you feeling as though you get clarity. And it does make you very happy. It does give you a sense of, you know, that you didn't imagine the happiness, the joy, that, you know, you're holding back from this person, but you're holding back from each other. But let's see what that's about. Why are you still holding back from each other? I feel as though it's you, Scorpio, giving up the burden, letting the, being at peace with the past. The star card, okay. Well, both of you really thought you were both very attractive. You're both very attractive to other people, but the star card is healing, okay. Okay. It is healing, and we have you here in this energy. So, the Ten of Coins, Legacy, nice. So, what we're seeing here is that both of you really thought that you were going to marry. Both of you are in this energy of, you know, trying to clear up toxic energy that stood between the two of you. The Justice card is telling me that... I believe that your person with the, yeah, the swords again, we have the page of swords. I feel like your person is really coming in to apologize. And I feel as though they want to clear the air. But I do think that there's still a hidden agenda. I think this person is coming in to say, well, let's get closure here. But I don't really think that that's actually what they want. I feel like your person is, you know, wanting to reinvigorate the magic and the chemistry between the two of you. Because the sun card, we have the sun card, they're coming in with this energy. And that is really, uh, they have the tools to woo you back or so they think. I don't think they do. I don't think that you would go there again. But it does feel good. We have somebody coming. Yeah, your person's going to come in with a romantic gesture, offer. Even if they come in, quote unquote, to give closure to the situation, it's almost like they want to still sweep you off your feet. They want to kiss you. They still care about you. So you're getting this sort of closure, apology, clearing the air with a new, they want a romantic um, you know, evening with you at, a, at the very minimum. And when we look at the Knight of Cups, he's making an offer of love that, you know, the next step is moving into the King energy, the Son of Pentacle, Page of Pentacles. So your person, they're very humble 
it looks like they've done a lot of healing themselves. Um, I feel as though they have a total understanding. They want to throw caution to the winds and make an offer. What is that about? The lover's card. See, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. I knew it. So they're giving you the option to be with them again. The lover's card is also the meaning of the of a choice. It is a soulmate card. They do they will come back and tell you that, you know, they're open to it. The world card means that they're open to a new beginning with you to have a, to move to the next level, another cycle and they're going to wait for you to make a decision. So, it rests with you, Scorpio. So I am broadcasting. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I am broadcasting from Chicago. Would love to know in the comments where you're from or where you're viewing from. Uh, any insights into this reading and how it affects you. Let's see what your destiny card is here in this situation. Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. Oh, Scorpio, that's Phoenix rising from the ashes. That's you being very grateful, really appreciating the fact that this person has come back. They've come clean at least about what they did with you. You know, that's good for you. That's really helpful. It really speaks to the fact that you were very much probably the leader in the relationship. And that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.